You're watching 7 Action News this morning on TV20 Detroit. All right, welcome back. It is 840, and there's a rivalry game taking place this weekend, not the one on the football field. This is a basketball game helping an amazing cause. It takes place tomorrow, and Michigan First Credit Union is partnered with the University of Detroit Mercy, and they're hosting a charity game, and it's taking place as they uh, take on their rivals, their in-state rivals, Wayne State University. Here to tell us more about the big game is Michigan First Credit Union President and CEO, Mr. Michael Paulus, and Detroit Mercy Athletic Director, Mr. Robert Bowles. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Thank Thank you. Morning. Thanks for having us. I got to ask you, shouldn't somebody from Wayne State be here so we can really get the trash talk going? Or They should be, okay. and they are really in tune, but uh, we'll take over for right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so tell me about the relationship that, that you guys have formed between the uh, University of Detroit Mercy and uh, uh, Michigan First. Well, it's a great partnership, and Mike can talk mm -hmm. a little bit about it. Go ahead. Well, we've been in the business for over 90 years, and we've always supported the educational community, and Detroit Mercy has one, been one of our great partners for a number of years, as long with Wayne State. So this is kind of an interesting combination going forward tomorrow night okay, with both schools that we support. And so these uh, three amazing entities are coming together to benefit who? Detroit Public Schools, K through five, the athletic program. So we thought that talking with Michael, talking with Wayne State, uh, back in the summer, we just came with, with an idea. Bakari Alexander, our new uh, basketball coach, uh, was going to play Wayne State, called the City Series. Uh, we haven't played in 14 years, and we thought, hey, why not? It's an exhibition game. Yeah. Let's make it more than just a game. It's more than basketball, so give back to the schools. So the City Series, I mean, is it revived? Are you guys going to play more often now? I mean, it, it won't be 14 years before you play again. That's the game plan. We, we have a new coach in, in place, and I think we're going to do that on a regular basis. Obviously, the community supports both schools, supports Michigan First Credit Union. How can they support uh, the kids at Detroit Public Schools while seeing some great basketball? Come on out tomorrow. It's just $2. So Two bucks. 7 o'clock, historic Callahan Hall. We want to fill the place. Let's go 4,000 Wayne State fans. Let's go 4,000 Detroit Mercy fans. And you see we have the information on the screen right here. Uh, it's happening at 7 o'clock, University of Detroit Mercy. Tickets are just $2. So uh, for bragging rights, who, who has uh, the upper hand in this series uh, historically? Historically, Detroit Mercy does. So, But here again, it's going to be a good game. Hopefully not a close game, <laughs> but a good game. And see, at first you were diplomatic. <laughs> Hopefully not a close game. So as far as uh, uh, helping out the schools, what exactly does that entail? I mean, is it athletic equipment? Is it, is it money for books or, or classrooms? Well, it's going to go to the foundation, and the foundation will determine where the money is best used. Okay. Uh, when we initially talked about it, we were talking about athletics K through 5. But hopefully, if we put 8,000 people in there, $2 a piece, $16,000, matched up with another $16,000, $32,000. That potentially could go a long yeah, way. Yeah, and you could do some, some great things. Gentlemen, I wish you the best of luck. So I'm much. sure you don't need it on a basketball court. No, we do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keenan, you're a pretty big basketball fan as well. Maybe you should get out there and, and do a little crossover action. Uh, you know something? I'm going to leave that to the younger folks. Oh, my back. My back. <laughs> See, that's what happened. 